All right, in this video, let's take a look at absolute imports and module paths. If we take a look at underscore app.js, you can see that we have relative imports. The header, footer, and styles are imported relative to the current file. Although this is fine, you might prefer absolute paths, especially when importing from nested folders, the dot dot slash syntax isn't the most pleasing to look at. Luckily for us, Next.js makes it really simple to define module path aliases and make use of absolute imports. Begin by creating a new JS config file in the project root. So JS config.json. Within the file, we specify the compiler options base URL and set it to the current folder. This allows us to use absolute imports. So in underscore app.js, we can now remove the dot dot slash from header, footer, and the two CSS files. If we now restart the server, our app still works as expected. We have the header, the footer, and the corresponding styles. Of course, you might want to add more aliases. For that, we can use the paths option. Let's say we have another folder inside the components folder. Let's call it layout. The header and footer files are inside the layout folder. VS Code asked me to update the import statements for which I agreed. So the path now is components slash layout slash header and the same with footer. However, we can also alias the layout folder in our JS config file. We can add another property called paths and set add slash layout slash star is going to be equal to components slash layout slash star. Which means we can now update our import statement inside underscore app dot js. Import footer from at layout slash footer and import header from at slash layout slash header. Here at slash layout maps to components slash layout in our project folder. If we now restart the server, refresh the browser, our app continues to work as expected. We have the header and the footer. So this is how you configure path aliases for absolute imports using the jsconfig.json file. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at static HTML export in Next.js.